is aimed at discussing co cooperation between the two countries and ways of strengthening bilateral relations, particularly on the economic and development fronts. Uh, both leaders also confirmed over key political developments in the region and the African continent. We're delighted to be joined over the telephone by Dr. Sharif Amir, the Professor of International Relations. Dr. Sharif, it's a very good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon. Thank you, sir, for joining us, Doctor. Now, of course, this is a very important visit, uh, the President Abdel Fattah Sisi's visit to South Sudan. Uh, tell us about the significance of this visit and a bit of a historical background uh, of relations between the two countries. Well, uh, we all know that Egypt uh, participated, or let's say we were uh, the main player in organizing the peace between uh, the factions, the rival factions there, in yes. uh, South Sudan, yes. um, all, always there was uh, the envoy, the Egyptian envoy, uh, General uh, Abbas Kamel, the head of the, uh, the head of the intelligence service, yes. mediating between the factions because mm -hmm. Egypt is very uh, keen for the, st the stability of uh, of South Sudan. Yes. We know that South Sudan is very strategic for Egypt. Mm -hmm since the first day they got their independence. Mm -hmm. We didn't want to see that there would be a foreign, uh, um, a foreign presence there that would harm Egypt. Yes. So that's why President Abdel Fattah Sisi is taking things uh, very seriously about the cooperation between two, the, both countries. First Indeed. of all, um, economically, uh, it's a very fertile land there, mm -hmm. and it's a rich land with uh, all the sources that it has, uh, even the oil there, so and electricity. So I think that the President Abdel Fattah Sisi sees this uh, country as a partner that could uh, be very helpful. Yes. We all know that Egypt, for example, just... Uh, built uh, uh, a, a dam in Tanzania. Mm -hmm. So we are heading in a very, in a very powerful way mm -hmm. uh, in, in Africa. Yes. We inaugurated a new chapter of relationship. Uh, now we have also the relationship, um, uh, after the economic relationship, we have also the security and the geopolitical relationship. Mm -hmm. We know that uh, sometimes there are problems between uh, North Sudan, the country, and mm. South Sudan, the country. Mm. So we all know that uh, there has to be always a mediation, Egyptian presence there. So no one will take our place in mm. this. We all know that uh, the, the South Sudanese leaders uh, trust Egypt and trust President Abdel Fattah Sisi. And they know that their uh, stability there is always mm. hanging on Egypt's mediation. Absolutely. So the future of this country uh, is bound to Egypt. Yes, indeed. Uh, Dr. Sharif, let's talk a bit about some of the most important prospects of cooperation, uh, specifically during the current period of time between Egypt and South Sudan. Uh, well, uh, look, we all know that South Sudan um, has a place which is very important in, the, in, in Africa and in the Red Sea, all tones, both in Red Sea, and also the, uh, it's the Nile. Let's not deny it. The yes. Nile is very important, and we all know, um, unfortunately, how the government of uh, mm. uh, Ahmad Abi in, uh, mm. in uh, Ethiopia Still is... Still dealing with the negotiations, with yes. yes. So mm. I think that now, uh, let's face it, what's going on in Ethiopia is very, very critical. Mm. Uh, I think that all the countries, uh, mm. whether Egypt or South Sudan, mm. we know that there is something very dangerous taking place there yes. about the independence of the Dynastic so the, the, Race. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I think that there is instability mm. in, in Ethiopia. I think that now Africa has to work together. We have Absolutely. to work together mm. about mm. finding the solution there. I think that things are getting out of control in Ethiopia, mm. and I think that we have to coordinate now with our brothers, uh, whether in Juba, whether in Khartoum. We, we have seen uh, lately, for example, the military maneuvers, the first uh, military maneuvers between Egypt and North Sudan uh, mm. with Khartoum. Uh, so I think that strengthening the relations now is very important because mm. 
we all have seen lately that the troubles that uh, started in, in, in Ethiopia uh, spilled out now into Eritrea. Uh, refugees are going to Sudan, and we don't know afterwards what will happen. Mm -hmm. uh, the coordination now, and President Stisi, his presence by himself now, is very critical, is giving a strong message that we are very uh, aware mm. of the thing that it could be, it could turn, the, 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 the conflict in Ethiopia could turn into a regional conflict because there is now many countries very, are, are, are yes. really in, 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 uh, annoyed by what's going on. Mm -hmm. So I think the coordination now is very clear that Egypt is, uh, is present in Sudan, is present in South Sudan, uh, even the president of Eritrea, Siasio Foki, came to Egypt and met President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi. So we're giving a strong message that we are securing the region. We are securing uh, our background, if you can say it, like that backyard. Mm -hmm. We are trying to show uh, the leaders uh, in Ethiopia that uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, what's going on will mm -hmm. affect us and we would not keep silent. Absolutely. Now, uh, Dr. Sharif, we've also seen uh, since the independence of uh, South Sudan in 2011, Egypt has significantly assisted the country in its development processes, uh, assisting in several fields, providing support in different fields, especially health and education uh, sectors, which are uh, vital for the South Sudanese country. Uh, let's talk a bit about the medical and educational assistance, which has really been at the forefront of the Egyptian South uh, Sudanese cooperation. Well, uh, lately, Egypt inaugurated uh, a huge medical center in yes. South Sudan. Yes. Uh, it was our Minister of uh, Health, uh, uh, of Health mm. uh, and also uh, the uh, General Abbas Kamel went there. Mm. So uh, we were present there uh, to show the, our brothers in, in South Sudan that we are there to contribute in the building of their country not de destroying the country. And I always said, let's make the comparison between what we have done in Tanzania in the, the infrastructure and what we have done in South Sudan and what Turkey is doing in Somalia by creating there mm. uh, a military base there to kill and sp uh, spell the blood of these uh, innocent, yes, innocent civilians absolutely. there. Mm -hmm. So the, the contrast is very, very obvious. Mm. We are there for peace, stability, uh, development, and I think that South Sudan needed really this medical center because they went through, as a young country, uh, they went through many troubles and they couldn't have the opportunity to, to get the help of any country in the infrastructure. So the medical care that Egypt offered is historical, mm -hmm. is fundamental. The fact that President Abdel Fattah has goes by himself and mm. visits this country uh, is a very strong message that he is overseeing by himself mm. all what Egypt is doing and showing that we're not just in an appendix in voice like other countries are doing with the Juba. No, we are, the president is himself going there, speaking to the, to, to the leaders there, and we are uh, ready, and as we show always, that our uh, uh, military cargoes are ready with the help, the medical aid, yes. with all the help whenever there is crisis. Absolutely. So it's the relation of trust. Mm. Egypt is the country, and President Abdel Fattah as the president, is giving the message, trust Egypt. We are uh, the strong ally. Mm. We are there for reconciliation, for peace, stability. And whenever there will be a crisis, count on Egypt is the leader of Africa. Absolutely. I'd like to thank you very, very much, Dr. Sharif Amir, Professor of International Relations. Thank, thank you, you so much, sir, for joining us and for your insight on today's edition of Cairo Local Time. And we still continue with news making the headlines. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on Friday inspected construction work at uh, several areas uh, around